Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Julie's on the camera, and we are on air. We got Nate in the house, and we have a live studio audience. A fine live studio audience they are. Some is Jolene's family. Yes, there is, but you, you should be okay. Uh, what me and Nate are doing today is we're trying to get, this, get the front fenders put back on it and get it hooked up. We've obviously got this fender hooked up on it. Uh, we got some bolts running it. We're going to try to get the bolts on the other fender. It's quite a time, to be honest with you. And um, we had things backwards here a few times. Uh, come take a look at this, sweetheart, on this side. Or Nate, you show what you did with the, with the fan belt. Um, it's just the alternator was too close to the valve pan cover. And we had no real choice to do other than what, what it went on. And uh, he used, if you look at the other side. Oh, you mean just where it's touching? Where it's touching? It we, was, had, we had a little issue. It had, no, it, had, uh, it had room, but when it was running, it was... The belt was flexing and hitting the hose, so for now I just stuck a clamp on there so it doesn't chew into the hose. So it's got a place for the back of the to run it. And as it tightens up, when when the belt stretches a little bit, when we go to tighten it up next, it will come away because it's actually going to pivot this way and it'll come away from the hose when we tighten the belt again. So it's still just testing. Yeah, there's right there's, there. there's some things, there's some issues, yeah. but we're working past it. Yeah. So I'm going to grab the fender. We're going to put this bad boy on. We're going to try to. Do you want me to bring them bolts around from the other side? And I'm going to do this first. Get some bolts over here. We're kind of in a knot hole, but we don't want to let it down until we're done because it's too easy to put the fenders on. Right. They're not too easy, oh, but washers. it's the best place. Bolts. I got some here I'm going to bring over there, channels. Grab some bolts here. Oh, we already had. There's, there should be enough there. Trying to get ready, we are. There's <laughs> lots up there. If now. you know somebody that has put up a steel building or a Quonset or something like that, if they have them bolts and nuts left over, grab them. I use them full time. And I have all different kinds, all different sizes. They're 5 16 with the washer and wash made right on them. Yep. All right, Nathan. We had to cut a piece out of the fender, if you can remember, if you were watching when we took it apart. If you're not, well, you can go back to and watch it. There was a piece right here that the fenders were put on the body first, and then the body was put down on top of the fenders, and we had to pull them out. So uh, do you think it was built that way for when they yeah. made the car and the truck, because it was the same fenders and stuff? So when they set the chassis on top, this was on there first, and then they set the car body on top. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. And that's what it seems like, because it would have had to go on... Here, Chad, I'll grab the other corner. You grab your back end. Okay. Like you said, we're just using the knot hole here. It's okay. <laughs> You've got a knot hole already. Right. I used a drill press today, people. Yes, he actually did. Today. Now, this is going to go over here, Chad, first. Just a second. Get down past that. This looks like it should fit. I'll, yeah, I'll get this here. Okay. Do you want me to get under there? Nope. Not at all. I do want a light though. Excuse me, sweetie. There's one. Um, Thanks for coming back, everybody. Really appreciate it. Look at our measurements. We were close. Okay. We knew we were getting close when we set it up the first time. That's why we didn't drop it down in the other position. Yeah. Never even thought of that, Nate. I didn't. Because remember, I went out and measured that time from the... You, you remember, I don't. Yeah, I do. I didn't know that part. <laughs> I knew it was going to be... Kerfussel? Stickity do da day. Now I shoved these um, through. Do you this. want it? I got a light down here. I should maybe put them in my head, maybe. Work it's supposed to work. Were these ones up here the hardest one the last time? That one there is good. I'll just shove one in it for now. And that way there. Um and hold it in place. On the other side, I had to make a little lip for the fender. That's okay. That's okay. Oh yeah, I got some more to put in there. Yeah, I can hand them down to you. How many yep. you want? I'm gonna go with this one first. Washer and a nut. On the fenders, it's real hard to put these fenders on because it's got an inch. It's got an inch lip going down that way and it's got an inch lip meeting together. So if you only got that much, that much, and then when you shove that in there, then that 
bolt hits that fender and it's hard to get it in the hole. Like it's just it's hard to get it in the hole. Snug as a bug in a rug. Oh my. Now, can I twist it one way or the other? Um, I should get a screwdriver maybe and there's one. Or there's one. Ah, 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 one. The nuts go on easy because they're brand new. This is the Quons that sort of oh, that one went on nice. Wow. Were these a bucket of the ones you got from Layton's? Yeah. I even got them. You got a, some too? I bought a big bucket from up there too. It's funny what people will bring in and they call junk. Or for weight, sell it for weight. Okay. But I understand the business. I mean, let's face it, they're not, um, you know, that's their living. Everybody makes a living a different way, but... Uh. So that one there, do we need to uh, up or down? Then, uh, yeah. Up. Like that? One second. It wants to win. Um, down. Remember we left this bolt? If you pop oh. this bolt out here, I can swing it up to you again. I, I pretty well got it through now. Okay. Just push down by the... There we go. Yo see down the way she goes. Then I got a small one I have to put on the top because they can't even put the... Right in here, they can't okay. even fit one in Two there. Two washers so. and a small one. This is going not bad for this fender. The other fender went really hard. Fitting everything. Or I thought it did. And when you haven't taken it... When you haven't... Um, now we'll put it back together. We took it apart quite a long time ago. Whether whoever took it apart, Doug, me, Nathan, it still takes a bit getting used to getting back into it. Just got to look at it. Um, got to look at it, I guess. Alrighty. Another one for the bottom. Got got another one for the bottom. You're right. Nate's on it. He's on it. Um, right there is one. Need one more for there, or is that I enough? need one more for there, you're one right. One more for there. I think the um, exhaust that we're using looks cool. I'm going to... Those in there. Wow, she's bolting up nice. I got the. Can I just trade you? I kick this way. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be a. I don't know. What's that? Take your body out of shape. Contortionist. With your hands, like you get your hands somewhere. I change this one. I kind of like it with no hood. With what? I kind of like it with no hood. Yeah, it's, 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 I guess the breathers, I guess whatever the breathers I get on the carburetors, I, in my opinion, is going to make it look good. If, you know, the ones that we had on it, I wish they would have fit, but they, they did not. So that's all I can say. They did not. Okay, how's the right. bracket here? Do you want help with that light? Is that yes? I'm going to get you to hold the light, and I'll put the bolts up through from the bottom. So we kind of got the lights. Um, if you, I don't know if you want that underneath there or not. No, I won't need that. I can do it right through the fender well. I'll just switch uh, spots with you. What's going on is when we put the lights together, we got them mixed up on the wrong side. The, the frame so, bracket and the whole thing was mixed up to the opposite side. Yes. <clears throat> Rooster's getting the blame for that. Actually, that light you hit, I mean, you got <laughs> that. Oh, there it is right there. Hey, Newt, Rooster's getting blamed hey, for that. Hey, Rooster can have the blame for that. Yeah, he's not here, so. So we'll give him a little bit of a touch today. There you go, Rooster, old buddy. Oh, I can't get, oh, that. Okay, 
now. It's, it's a simple matter, you know what I mean? Getting mixed up, it really is. Oh, yeah, because they bolted on all the same. Mm -hmm. The different profile for the fenders. What? Can you see where that's coming up through there on the back top? And I, and I don't, and I'm not saying it's Rooster's fault. I'm just joking. It's nobody's fault. It just. Can you see that? I'm trying to, yeah. Can you come up through further somehow? Just a second. Just a second, just a second. Oh, I see what the problem is. Yeah, okay, just a second. Now I can get to a little bit more. There, that should be better. Is that better? I think so. Nope. Oh, um, the just, get, uh, just need to come up through. Okay, just a look here. This other bracket. Is it up through now? Um. It is, but you're on an angle, sort of. Which angle? Which way do I just point to which direction I gotta go? Right, left, back, you gotta forward. Go push in. There, there you, yep, there okay. you be. That's what yep. I need to know. Little direction. Yes. I think I got it, didn't I? So, yep, I can see if I can get this front one now. Okay, the front one's gonna have to. Everything has lines up, everything has to be tightened together, type of deal. Yeah. Have to get all the bolts in and then tighten stuff. I didn't kind of pull that fender out. Bang that out a little bit in the front. Why it's up in the air. Do you want me to move okay, that or pick that up? Or? I'm going to try to move this other bracket here. It has to push in towards you. And this has to go there. Right there somewhere must be that. I think I got it for a second. Because even that bracket's adjustable on the frame, and then the other bracket's adjustable. Like, is it? There, we're on there now, Jim. Okay. I got a little buckle up underneath there. I didn't really notice. I'm gonna. Oh, right there, yeah. yeah. Pair um, of gloves and pull that out or something. We got that one welded up. Now that's got that. I should be able to put that spacer in there now. That slides up in behind with the threads. We are probably in half an inch off from the alternator from the side fender, that, and, and that's just right. What do you What do you ask? What are you saying? These two bolts here, oh. where this goes up through behind. Yes. Are you mm -hmm. going for that? Well, where do you want? Where are you thinking next? Well, These to bolts. be honest with you, I should get the welder going and tack my exhaust things on. Oh, them nuts! And I'll let you go about your business if you want for a little okay, bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can try to get the rest of this here. Um, are we gonna put that? Or, you know, we can do. I suppose I can do that after. Doesn't matter. Let's do it. Let's do this together. So. Is this spacer really? I don't know how we're gonna do it yet with the tire on. We kind of have to get in there. Ah, put tires all back on it. Kind of a shame, isn't it? Okay. Now this here's gonna go up in behind all that. Now I can't even. See. Yeah, I don't know if two people are gonna get out. But that. I'm gonna pull a dug. I'm going for it. There's two bolts, two Chad, that goes down into this frame. Quarter inch have to go through with a nut on in here too. Okay. On that lip there. Let's see your piece. Just a second. So this here. Wow, that's quite something else, that is. There's a bracket in the fender, this goes up through, and then there's a spacer from the fender to this bracket, and then there's a frame on the outside of this bracket. A lot of vehicles, this is tacked up in there, but now we gotta feed this up in, and put this in, and then go through the frame and the light bracket. Right You're gonna jump. need it. So this here is the frame and light bracket there we have to go through. If you, light and I can push it up and through there. Okay, here's this piece yeah. here. I'm just wondering if, if it goes um, up, up through the fender. Yeah, I just kind of wonder. Do you want me to turn that tire some more? I turned it one way, but maybe I'll get a screwdriver to catch the tire. That's top what I was hole. thinking. If you After had After you get it in there, I get a Phillips screwdriver. I got yeah, This is going to be. It's going to work. Are you able to slide it up, Chad? Yeah. Okay. I actually am. I'm. I'm actually excellent. I'm quite surprised that. It's going that well. You can turn the tire too if you want to. I got my okay, so we want this here. here. Are you into the? You want it up further? I can push it up oh. further if you want. I think we're take your screwdriver if you want. If you, I can push probably put it right in place for you. Oh, the second, it's gonna go. The whole thing is gonna go over that way a little bit. So there's the bottom hole. If we get the top one, ah, uh, right, yeah, push it back. You know what the problem is going to be? We got to get this bracket here and here too. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Just a second. You hold that. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this down here. Put that in there. 
that's the spacer for it. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, that, I kinda, just, and that just happened? Now the top just has to go over just a little bit and I can put the bolt in. Can you try to pivot it with your finger a little bit, Chaz? I'll just pivot it a little bit more. A little bit more, you almost had it. Oh, oh, crap. Right. Oh, too far. Too far. Can you bring it back? A little bit more? Just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. We're almost there. I'm going to try to put one in there, Jed. I think I've seen it more. Oh, else. right there. Yeah, right there. If we can get it right there. Right. Come on, baby. I would never know where this went. These old cars aren't that easy to tear apart, are they? Oh, they come apart easy. <laughs> I suppose you just take it with every bolt. Oh, come on. That there's just so close. Try wiggling the head again there, Chad. We had it once. Oh, can you come back just a hair? Oh, we can't hold it right there is where it needs to go. Oh. Oh. If I just get one thread started on that, it's like right there. Screwdriver the top hole, probably. I'm gonna move the screwdriver over to the bottom yeah. and try to put the top one yeah. without dropping the. <sighs> See, that How's that working out? That didn't work. There. I got it now. Yeah, but the top hole's not right. What the crap? There's the hole right there. Okay. Now I can see that. Yeah, okay, slide it back in, up just a hair in. Right, oh, right there, maybe. Now I can't turn. Sorry, Chad, hope I didn't get in the face, buddy. I should let that tire off. Did you get that? I don't know. Do you want to put that in the socket with a piece of tape? Top one. Did that help you? Try swinging the top one now. That might hold it some. Swing the top one a little bit. Keep going up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is going to be tricky. Down, uh, up. And ahead. Man, ain't that, oh, so great. I dropped that. Get to start one thread would be something nice. Because then the other one will fall right in. Yeah. We're not having very good luck on this one. It's just a... It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Try that bottom one again. Any suggestions from the live studio audience? <laughs> Just keep up what you're doing, she said. I like that one. Just keep up what you're doing. Okay, that's not working. Okay, drop it down a bit and back a little bit. I'm going to have to get that screwdriver back. Remember when he's there, it is there. Okay, let's do this again. You got the top one? No, I don't think I'm trying to find the hole. Okay, tip it to the back a little bit. You had it there, one. Tip it to the... There's the hole. We had it. See, we should have just drilled a hole in that. And, uh, up, 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 and then fling it to the front if you can. Oh, up just a hair right there. Up a hair into the back. Oh. Right. Okay, I got the screwdriver in the hole. That time. <laughs> okay, let's just leave that there for a second. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. My old neck is, my old yeah, head's take, too, take a break, Chad. My old head's too heavy for my muscles and my there, neck. There, now that I got that, now we can try to get this bottom one. I got 40 pounds of head, man. I don't know when we had that helmet on earlier, 20 pounds of hair. 
<laughs> I tried it on there and made my old bald head, bald head look. Something else. Join it should almost be able to. Right there, it should start right there. It should be the one. I'm going to come out. Yeah. I'm going to let you frig with that. Okay, that'd be okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go to do that. What I said I was yep. going to do. Because you only probably get a picture of it, don't you? You're going to get. You have to send it to me later. You'll get it when you get it. Yeah, I'll get it here. It's close now. <laughs> yeah. You get a picture over right here, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah, poison pee, where are you, buddy? Yeah. I'm hoping one. the tickets are worth it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now yeah, I think Yeah, front row seat. Hope the tickets are worth it. What's going on is I put that exhaust on there, tightened that up, got them spacers put in there. I actually used a piece of copper in, in, in between for spacers, but I, I nutted it on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little weld on the nut so it can't back off and fall off. And if I'm going to change it, I'll cut it off. That's how that's going to work. What's, how's it go, Tim? When your oil light, light comes on, go, change, go trade your car in. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. So if your oil light comes on, just go trade your car in. It supposedly works. <laughs> okay. Nate, can I get you anything to help? I'm gonna grab a ratchet and a socket. Put some tape in it. Da, 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 and you slide da, da, da. your bolt in it. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just gonna vice grip for the ground. So do you I'm drive the to... car till it's oil change time, then get a new one? Is that how it goes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> drive it till the oil light comes on, then trade her for a new one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way. Right won't and that won't back off. Okay, yeah, nice. Like an idea. I still gotta tighten the exhaust yet. Stick with us because we're going to lower down the ground. We're going to start it up, that's for sure. That's it right there. That's all it took. That's all it took. What's that? You'll get, there's four of them. Four of them. Oh, I got one. It's just kind of hooking my ice bits here. And then we're blasting it with the welder. I've got a, well, a piece of uh, I've got a battery box made there. It's nice and tough and rough, but it does not have any any uh, brace on it or gusset on it. So I'm going to gusset it. So that's going to be done. And so I'm under here doing the exhaust. There you can see how the exhaust is hanging down. There you can see the copper um, spacers that I've put in to hold the exhaust where we want it. Do you want me to tighten these up, Chad, or just leave them loose now till we get everything else kind of? I got them started, so they're started. Okay, well, you, maybe we should go right over to the other ones. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. We'll get that other one lined up. And they're started anyways. It's started. That'll hold that on there. I'm going to give Nathan a help on the other side so he can get started. And then I'll, I'll drag the weld over and do the other side. Nice. Uh, here, you, got a, you want a, you want no, a I got pad? pad? I got a pad right here now, Chad. You got a pad right now? Yeah, that's kind of getting me. I hate to ask you. <laughs> Down your knees a lot. <laughs> oh, he says. Mm. Hey. I can see it, yeah. Okay, here's our, our here's your again. piece again. Yeah, does Just it like matter that. which way I slide yeah, in? Yeah, one way goes better. So this shiny edge towards me like this. Okay. And then hopefully our spacer plate. Wow, why did I reach it better on the other side? Like, let's oh, go. there we go. Push that in a little bit. Ah. Oops. Oh. oh. That didn't hurt me. Mmm, good thing it wasn't in your face. Hit me in the hand. Sorry, buddy. No worries. Wow. Okay, you get yours. That's up crazy how that works. Well, so Dan, just a hair. Dan, just a hair. I'm going to see if I can't get oh, up just a hair. Up, up, whoop, right there. I'll get the bottom. Okay, now there's the bottom one. Do you like the top one better? Well, I want if I swing, whoop, if I can swing that around. So let me swing it up to you. Then I'll put the screwdriver in the top once we line the top up. 
Oh, what's just about behind it? Can you hold it right there, right there, channels? I think I can. Hopefully nothing comes out. Kind of moved a little bit, but... You did, yeah. It's got to go, the top's going to go towards you again. Did I get it? Did I get it? Whoa, whoa. Back just a hair if you can. Back, back, back. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Son of a bug. Oh, right there. Right there. Are you sure if you... There we are. I'm in it. I'm I, in. I sure do feel your pocket when you go for you. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it's... Okay, I got her in there. Yeah, put it in there. cool. Thanks, buddy. No worries. Where are we at for time, sweetheart? Oh, we're doing good then. We're doing good. Stay to the end of the video. We're going to let this bad boy down. We're going to move some stuff there. The live studio audience will have to get up and disperse. And, disperse. And, and we'll, we'll move her over or we'll... We'll go for it. I'm going to put something on the battery box for a... <clears throat> we only got a lawn tractor battery in it, but that's all right. Let's do this. So Doug said me seen it today. He says, lawn tractor battery. So basically, the battery box is uh, bolted on the side of the frame, hanging down like that, battery sitting on it. So I'm just going to go from the end of the battery box up to the frame. Probably just use this. Why wouldn't I? Why would I not? And that's just a matter of getting underneath there, cleaning a spot to put the paint on because we have painted everything and it looks pretty good underneath there. No, it looks real good underneath there for a 1936 Hudson. It looks really good. I did a little bit of research there once and it said that the Hudson was a lot like an AMC built from Ford Shed Dodge Parents type of deal. Mm -hmm. I may be wrong, but that's what I kind of see. Kind of going for it right now, and uh, just kind of going for it. There's no real pro pro uh, thought process right now, I guess. Just kind of do what you got to do to to get it finished. So that's what I'm thinking. Good job on the weld, that way there I have to grind it off. Just hit it with a little rocker and just keep on cruising. That's what I'm thinking anyways. That's what I'm thinking. So many little things that have to be done. And now is the time to do them when we let her, before we let her down. Oh my. Before we let her down. It sounds like a country song you're starting to sing there. 
this. Bum, 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 bum. Nope. This is what I gotta oh, do. Come on. Okay, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Hudson for putting the wiring down through there. <laughs> you bad? Have you bad moping, Mr. Hudson? <laughs> huh? So plug this bad boy. Plug this bad boy back in. Put a 45 on her. <laughs> plug that bad boy back in. Oh, that's where that bar goes across. Everything, everything we have to try to. Yeah, that's cool. Nope. Haven't seen it together for so long, and uh, we're all kind of, or me and Nate are kind of excited. Doug's on an adventure. I'm not sure what kind of ventures on, what Doug's on, but we'll find out tomorrow, <laughs> won't we? Yeah. I'll ask him. The wires are gonna be long enough. Woo! -hoo! I was worried about that. That's gonna work. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. gonna work. One side, I thought my wires were a little bit long on one side now, but at least some ones are still going to reach what I already had made there. Excellent. This one here is going to come back down through. We had a harness all made up for the lights and stuff, but when we found that the light brackets and stuff were on the wrong side, one side set of wires was shorter than the other, but apparently I had left enough that it's still going to work. So that's awesome. I was worried. And I put the wire through the wrong hole here. There's a crossbar we have to put up in there where I put that wire through. Come on. So we're still trying to remember where everything goes here. Beautiful. Well, we don't remember where everything Beautiful. goes. But we're Beautiful. gonna figure it out. That thing put the heat. So up. now we can hook where this one here. here. One and two. There's two. Should have had the air hose down there with me. Two. And one. There we got. So instead of putting High and low, I put two and one on it. It just end up being the head going on there. And then we can get that ground up there after. Them two grounds go up and bolt to the frame up there. And that's still long enough. That's going to work. Let's come from the big wigs upstairs. Yay! Yay! Oh, Sometimes I wish my sausage fingers were a little bit longer. Sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit longer sometimes. But well, that's okay. I'd be like me wishing I was somebody else. Can't be doing that. Okay, we can tighten that up after. That's going to go up there. Now if we just find that crossbar to that light thing, and then we can tighten everything up there. Okay. That was in the truck, wasn't it, Chad? All right, how are the threads on this? That looks all right. Maybe we'll put a new nut on that. Come on. Excuse me. It's not turned up hard enough. That oh, sounds delightful down there, Chad. It doesn't sound. I'm trying to burn it on, but it's not hot enough. Yes, please. Would you need it? The wire speed. What you got done? Something like that. Let's go for it, yeah. Couple new nuts, couple new washers. Now yeah, he's cooking. All right, good enough. Let's see if I can get this cooking here. I just put a brace from right there up to the top of the frame, while they're on the top of the frame, while they're there. It's not going anywhere.
We have a crossbar. What's that, buddy? This crossbar here goes from light bracket to light bracket, right straight across in front of both grills. So it holds both sides together and keeps it spread. So now we're going to try to feed that up in there and get some nuts on it. <laughs> You're going for it, are you? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can okay. get that up in there. I'm just going to continue on and, and see if I can pull this. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you're right, you get them there geared up, we can move on to the... Okay, that goes up through here. Out through by that light. If I can get it up in there. It might not go up there high enough. Which way is this going to go? I wonder if I can put it from the outside all the way through. Now, we're all learning on this one because it was apart. Maybe I can come through here. There we go. Now, that's going to come through a little bit more. Now, I want to put a washer on either end of that. But we're almost there. Ouch. Now, is there enough room to... Whoops, sorry, Joe. Okay, I'm almost in my hole. I'll put, I'll put a washer on that. Ah. Hey, hey, what are you doing, Hilti? Put a washer on there. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to unbolt that light bracket and then put this on. Or what? Oh, Dougie, got her all greased up for us, buddy. I think it doesn't want it with that hole. It did go through. Huh? Sorry, everybody, for the glare. Put my hat back on. Is that the hot rod glare? Yeah. The hot rod glare. Yeah, if I get this fender bracket up there, just oh yeah. There you go. I might need a pry bar on that. I don't know yet. Okay. I want to grab a little pry bar and pop that up just a little bit. Do you need a hand with anything, Nathan? I need that long pry bar screwdriver out of the drawer there. Long pry bar screwdriver. I just got to tweak it just a little bit and shove it to the side. Then we're the flat one. Side. That one. Yep, that big one. Yeah, yeah. We might have to. I might have to undo that one headlight bracket and just slide the headlight bracket sideways gotcha. a little bit. I don't know yet. I'm just gonna hit. That. That's why we didn't tighten them up. Some stuff underneath there. That so actually, if I, I loosen like that up black, there, too. loosen that up there. Mm, that one's tightened up pretty good. <laughs> there, loosen that up a little bit more. Loose, loose. And the headlight one. Headlight one. That should give me some more. Move it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, if I can just hold it and do it too. Dinner! <laughs> ding, ding! Can I push up on that? <laughs> Fina starts barking. Oh. I might need a hand, Chad, to get this. Yeah. No worries. Pushed up and pulled sideways at the same time. Where do you want me to head to? Um, up here by the tire. You might be able to grab that corner and just pull it out a little bit. Up here on this side, right over here. What's, which side do you want me to be on? Over here. Over here. This right here bracket. You can just get this bracket here. And put your head up in here. Right, that go. bracket there, I don't know if you can grab it and pull it just a little bit. Like, about there needs to be. Which one? This bracket right here. Okay. I can't see it. Well, that's the wrong fucking... on the wrong side. Excuse the tire me, Chad. Excuse me, I'm Right there. Just so that there needs to come up and over, kind of like that, while I pull the rod back. Okay. If you're putting that rod through which hole? I need to come. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah. see that you need to get off that. Yes. Between the two here, Chad. Between, between the fender and the up through here. Go right through here. 
not prying my rod, though, prying the finger. I might have to unbolt that back. It's harder than we suspected. If you, Just set, I get that thing pried on there. The right piece pried on there. Pry right back. So you, you gotta pry that bracket with the bolts in it sideways, like up through, up through here, and then go sideways like that. Oh, must have popped in my hole over here. Right, just a second. Uh -huh, just a second. Uh, I had it in the hole. Now uh, that would stay in the hole there. Wait, like it's like it. Let's go. It's gonna go this way two inches. It will once it unhooks off that. Okay, just a second. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbolt that light bracket. This just needs to come down underneath that just a little bit. It'll go that way two inches on the thread. So okay, um, so we're just gonna bolt that? Yeah. Which one you want to unbolt? Then I can get it here. There's two nuts right there? Yeah. Damn. Eight. Here, baby. Right there on the bottom of the headlight. It'll slide right over once that there. It goes up just a little bit. I almost had it once. Jeez, he's unbolted. All done. Here, just try pushing up on it a little bit. Push up on that bracket. I need that. I can't push up on the light. I put it on my head, I guess. Um, where's the screwdriver right here? Behind me? Just try, just try there we go. Right now, just a second. Like, anything can slow you down, Nate. Now let her okay, down. Yep, let her down. Yeah. And now we're just pu push it up, put it in. A second. Yeah, right. so don't pull her back right, too right far. Right there, right there. You got it in. Yeah, okay, good. Just leave her there. Okay, now. There. I can get the rest of it from there. Thank you. No worries. I wasn't doing quite what you were telling me to do, but got her in the end. Got her in the end, yeah. Okay. Got her in the end. Um, do you want me to put a bolt going through on that thing, make it easier? I up the top here and maybe reach that or something? Yeah. Where about you? Yeah, exactly. I can reach that. You got a nut in the washer. Reach right here. here, Nate. Yeah, there's a flat washer. Yeah. Here. I can put it on right here. You got the lock washer and everything? Is right here. I got another nut here. Here. Here's, Here's the other lock washer. washer. You got the other lock washer? Yeah. Excellent. Nothing <laughs> to it. <laughs> Nothing to it. Well, maybe. I keep it in my hands. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Rack is nice. Do you have the bolt to put on the end of that? Won't push back through on you, will it? Well, you just gotta get the nut on it there. And then the other side is adjustable. I can adjustable. hold it this way for you. I can hold it's it. It's adjustable on the other side. I don't know okay. what's going to happen there. Yeah, I'll have to put vice grips on one side of it and wrench on the other and then... Okay. I'll steal that for me, Joe. Mm. Oh, nice headlights. Where'd That's you get those things at? They're beautiful. Hudson never built such a nice headlight, did they? I don't think they did. Um, am anything I should be doing right this present second? It's maybe maybe I should get the old uh, air going. You start tightening things up. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Or we got we actually got this. You got that piece in there to line that up too. Still. Let's do that. Uh, if we put that in. Um. If we put that in, are we going to be? If we put that in, Chad, are we still going to be able to do the wires and stuff? Or do you want to leave that? Just stick two bolts in it and hold it here for now, and then put that in after. Have a look here. Yeah. And we still got some wires to put up in and tie up and stuff. Yeah. Do you want it? 
leave that out for now. What, uh, what, what time of day is it? How are you? We're at 45. Um, everything is basically on, is it not? All the pieces are in the, in the place where they got to be, yeah. Other than that, but we still got another. Yeah. There's still a few things we should do up in there before that goes on, really. That's for sure. Well, let's get it down. We can let it down stuff in there. Let's, let's, what? Can we finish it on the hoist? Like yeah. Yeah, like it can be finished on the hoist. And the other two bolts that come down through the frame up in the middle can be done with the hoist, too. The other two. It'd be a lot easier. The other two what? By the motor that go down through the frame, remember, on the top lip? The ones that go down here on the fenders, there's two that go okay. down here. Down through here. Right. There's two that go down in there on either side. <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Yep. Yeah. That would be better on the hoist too, would it not? We, we could do them on the hoist too, quite easy, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm saying that we're going to probably end up taking her down. We're going to leave it like this for now. We get all the bolts in it, I guess. We get all the bolts, all the nuts and bolts up for the fender down here and then on the running board. Uh, we're up front, we've got the piece going across, got the headlight brackets on. I'm not sure if they should be turned on a little bit more, if they're going to rattle off or not. They're screwed in quite a ways. Yeah. Um, we're going to let her down. There's a, there's still more stuff to do to it, obviously. Um, we're going to see if it got brakes. It, it does have brakes. It's got brakes now. Yeah, it does have brakes. Got the fender skirts back on it. Get that off, the blanket off. There's something else on top of there, too. I don't want Or I thought there was. I, I took one thing off there the other day. Cool. Oh, just purify script, that's all. That won't hurt nobody. So we're just going to clean it up, get it down the ground, back it out, and have a smile. She's fully mobile now. Right? Our live studio audience are going to have to move their chairs, but they've been a great live studio audience. Great, great, great. I didn't even hear Fantastic. any cheering or hollering or nothing. They were hollering at us. They didn't tell us we were doing a bad job or nothing yet. There. Put all the bolts back. Nate's got me trained to separate the nuts and bolts before I put them back. Alright, for this job anyways. Jolene knows how to move stuff, just kick it. That's in her soccer course. <laughs> If you want to move that hood up there, there it is. I that coat hanger. I need that coat hanger back. I need that coat hanger. Back. Uh, just trying to clean it off here. Yeah, there's still some stuff. Doug got the wheels all tightened up on there today. You did. Chad used to walking over and just throwing the bolts and nuts in. That's what he's trying not to do. I am, that's true, Nate. You got me. <laughs> I got the quarter and three eighths, the quarter, five sixteenths, and three eighths all geared up here now. The exhaust all tidied up, got the brake, uh, the, I mean the, the battery box tightened up. Got the sh got shocks welded on the washers, got the, our shocks, or wa washers welded on the shock brackets, got that all tidied up. Washers welded on the shock brackets. F fenders are on. Um, got the, got the, Got the belt on the on the alternator. Got that done. Um, we're charging a little bit much when it revs up. This is a question for the people. When you're at 14 
And then when you rev it up, it revs up to 17, what's it, 17 amps? Yes, yeah, 14.5 at an idle and it goes up to 18 when you rev it up, but the regulator's not working. Yet. I don't think the regulator's working. You guys yet. can guess, and then Nathan will tell you if you're right or wrong. Isn't that right, Nate? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, he said. All right? I'd say the regulators, it's a new alternator, but it still acts like the regulator. It doesn't mean work. nothing, eh, does it? No, we had one of them before. I, I put two new ones on mine, and they did. Your glasses. It's been quite a long time since we had the front fenders on it, but there's been a lot of work done since we got the front fenders on it. It's got, it's got brakes on it now, all new brake lines, all new flex hoses, all new brakes. Nathan went over the top on the brakes, I must say that. And they look really good. They look Trailer springs. Beautiful. These had broken springs and we made them spring yeah. with. Um, everything's fitting underneath the hood here. The, the, the alternator's excellent. We've got room there now. The covers for the carburetors didn't fit or didn't, well, they won't bolt on, so they're not going to work. I enjoy them, but they're not going to work. Um, we're seeing antifreeze at the top of the radiator, so we know it's, we're, we're circulating. Um, what can I say? Nathan, you can have the owners back for everybody. Go for it. Listen, listen I, ha I, have, I, haven't, I haven't set it, started it, drove it or anything yet. And, and, and I'm there. okay with, you we know, just got to make sure that we've got a cutter and get it through there. Yeah, I'll guide you. We I can just, pull I just, the back over with jack some if you want. Don't get me wrong. I'll burn it up the road just as quick as anybody else. Do you pull else. over the jack some? <laughs> What's do you that? Pull it over the jack some or do you think you want to push it out or what? Uh, what do you want to do? It's over that way quite a ways. Why don't you drive it out? Huh? Try to drive it. We can. But yeah. Or I can pull it. I'll pull it over. Let's just pull it over. Make it easier. You know, just make it easier. I have a lot of less jigging, yeah. jigging around. I need these glasses to see, but. They're not helping me right at the present moment. I gotta start wearing my glasses too. Of course. I like the stance on this car. We've got two side mounts on this car, which I think is sexy. I like that the, it's got two side mounts. That means a wheel on each side of the fender. We put those in during the build. Um, we've chopped this car. There we go. Should be now. I had to pull the jacket over the side because the fuel tank. Put a small block in this car. Made fender skirts for this car. Believe it or not, we we sanded the fill and painted it in one day. Believe it or not, it's true. How's that little fella do it? Keep going. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. Stay there. Yeah. That's good. Keep going. Got one loose eyeball. Any issues? I'm gonna pop them up again. Tell me something. I got that battery too high up in the floor there. I can get a lower battery, can I? Sure I can. Yeah. Should be able to. Hoping that I can. That battery's quite high, isn't it? The one we marked up with first is, of course, the one in the 50 that we had. Oh, okay. Everything else. And that, there's another right. one head in the... Gotcha. And what one. do you want to do? You want to press the brakes again? Yeah, we're going to do another little touch. On that. They're, they're working. Yeah. Just... There you go. 
I gotta, I gotta go get the breather thing, the things for the carburetors. Another three here or something. Just take a walk around it. I like the exhaust. Exhaust fits nice. Exhaust fits nice. I gotta watch where I'm walking. I see that, Chad. Looks right good. Looks good. There's always something left to do, though, isn't there? Isn't there not? Huh? Isn't always there always something, something left yep. to do? Always. Excuse me. Hood or no hood? I, I think the hood would look good on it. I guess. Let's. Do you want me to bring the hood out so you can have a little look at it? Nah, I think we're fine. I think we got some new paint that's off. I think. I'm not sure. I think it looks good with those. It does have on. a nice little stance once you see the fender and stuff back on them. Yeah, it's got a good stance to it. I'm happy with it. Needs some more work though, but I do like the exhaust on it. I like the stance on it. I think I like it without the hood on it. Huh? You like it without the hood on it? You see the, the carburetor and stuff like that? It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. You know, we done what we could do to get it, you know, outside and get it off the stands. It's been a while. She runs, drives, and got brakes. Take it for a little scoot down there and back. Neat. <laughs> yeah, we can, yeah. Let's <laughs> see what happens. You want. Huh? We can, yeah. See anything gonna fall off it? Well, the fenders might fall off. No, they won't. <laughs> I don't know. Probably should be bolted together real good, but oh, doors stay fly open. Sold, he'd like to have first dibs. I gotta tighten the exhaust up what I gotta do on the <laughs> I left them she rides so good the carburetor things didn't even fall off. They, oh yeah, you left them on there, didn't I you? I did, I did, I left them on there, didn't do a damn thing. Ah look at that now, would ya? It does it is gonna ride pretty smooth. Oh man, she's a it badass. Will, yeah. Look at that, would ya? <laughs> Just off of the <laughs> Look at the colors in the background, Joe. Huh? Look at that, would you? So you say, you say it's gonna ride pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. There's lots, still lots left to do. I but it steers nice, too. Does it? Yeah, I thought it might steer harder, but it steers pretty nice. Awesome. Go to Joe's Coffee Getter. Joe's Coffee Getter. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. I got, I got to do 50. You come back tomorrow and we'll be here, I promise. Well, I shouldn't promise. I don't make promises. But we'll be here. We'll try to be here. <laughs> that truck you see in your mind has got the same grill on it. The orange truck that's running around. Same grill. Do you know what year that Hudson is, Chad? The orange one? Can't. I'm busy. <laughs> Chop just looks just right on that one. That looks just right. When are you starting, Tim? Yeah, next year, the year after, maybe. <laughs> no, no time soon. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I got it. I got ten the other night at home. Right, that's oh, all yeah. I could oh get. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, 50, yeah, that's pretty cool. We, <laughs> if we had more batteries, we could pull out the other car and park beside. But batteries are bad around here. Uh, <laughs> Any batteries you want to give away? I got, I got the same battery situation. <laughs> I got like a lot of dead ones. <laughs> the battery in that car is about that big. Yeah. Yeah. The one that we had in the 36. That's cool. Better in my trucks going in my tractor for the winter to plow the yard. Yeah, there we go. We're all in the same freaking boat, man. Like, I told you. I already said. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no worries there. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah. What do you think, baby? Huh? Nova Scotia beautiful right now? Yeah. You bet. Look at the trees, huh? Yeah. Look at the leaves and the color. Beautiful. Look how nice the field is green, how nice it is up there, how green the field is up there amongst the trees. We're starting to lose a little bit at top. Yeah. Same as me. <laughs> yeah, me too. I might I might get a wig. Mm -hmm. I might. I like that song, Give Me Back My Wig. You ever hear that by <laughs> I know he's by name by. Give me back my wig. <laughs> Alright everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. Have a great night. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here.